Hello everyone, my name is Asad Siddiqui. I'm the owner and developer at iDesignSmart.com and I'm back, very excited to be back with another tutorial slash review for the latest and greatest X-Theme version 5. The reason I am doing this video is there are a lot of clients now that I have that are on this theme. They want to learn how to make the changes themselves, how various things in this theme work. So what I decided to do was create a video and explain the various concepts or aspects um, uh, that you need to know if you're working with this theme. This is pretty powerful very nice wordpress theme i really like it and there are a lot of clients uh, this is a highly sold theme on theme forest as well so without further ado let's jump right into it what i've decided to do is to create like a playlist on youtube so i will create short videos on various topics so a lot of people find it easier to follow it that way and just look at stuff that they are interested to look at so they don't have to look at all the other boring detail and that's what they like uh, much better and it's easier to follow. So we'll do that. And what I'll do is uh, to start off, show you how to set up and install the theme. Then I'll show you how to set up the uh, demo content. So the theme comes with a bunch of demo content and we can install the renew or integrity one, which I had open here. This one is a very famous uh, layout that a lot of people like to have. Then we can reset everything and I will show you one more like an app demo, which I had open here. So it's pretty nice one as well. So we can do that. So that will cover pretty much how the importing of uh, existing sample content work. And then we'll talk about how to customize the header styles in this theme, how to customize or set up the header, the slider, how to work with Cornerstone and set up various sections, how to work with the library in Cornerstone and how to register your theme, what are like different um, extensions that you can use with Cornerstone. So we'll talk about all that stuff and I'll click on various uh, and I'll uh, cover that stuff in various videos. So if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any content. And then I'll also set up a playlist together, which will have all these video in one playlist. So I can uh, keep adding to that playlist as I go along and as time permits. So the first step you need to do is to install the theme. So basically what I did was set up a blank WordPress install on my hosting account. It has the default 2017 theme set up right now. And now I will show you how to install the X theme on my WordPress. So what I want to do is to go to the dashboard, appearance, themes, and what I did was I already downloaded the X theme from a uh, theme forest. So if I go to my theme forest account, there is the X that's showing up. You can go to download and click on installable WordPress file only. So once you download that, I'm going to show that to you under my C WordPress and themes folder. So once you install that, uh, you will get a file like that theme forest 5871901 x the theme wordpress theme so i will just delete the other one i really don't know what it was so now i'm gonna upload this one and see what happens so i will go there add new and upload theme choose file and select this file click on install now so while it's installing, if you are in the market looking for domain or hosting, feel free to check out my awesome hosting provider. My affiliate link is in the description. The reason I work with them is they are hands down the best shared hosting provider that there is right now in the market. And I have some uh, very nice promotions with them. So um you can get php 7 uh, hosting you can get managed wordpress hosting with very nice php limits and everything set up so feel free to check that out and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me so it looks like our theme is installed so i will just go ahead and activate it okay so now my x theme is installed if i go back there and visit the site i'll close my theme forest and so my 
demo sample uh, install that I did or my new fresh install that I did is looking slightly different. The look and feel, you can see the stacks is uh, on the X theme has changed that a little bit. My uh, This is the blog archive page, so all the settings are the default WordPress. So things have changed and my theme has installed. Now, what I like to do at this point is also install a child theme. So remember that this step is optional, but if you do like to customize things, if you like to change the header around, if you like to change uh, various things other than the content, then it is important to have a child theme. Um, just for people who don't understand what a child theme is, Child theme is something that is built on top of the parent theme and uh, updating the parent theme doesn't cause to lose your changes if you have a child theme configured and installed. So what I do is I always install the child theme. So what all you need to do is appearance theme, repeat the same process over again. And this time we'll upload the child theme that we have. So upload theme, by the way, if you do not have the child theme, uh, I will put that in the link of my description as a download. So you can go to the link and download this xchild.zip. So once you can download it, then you can just double click it and install now and activate once it's done, just like we did the X theme. So that is done and activate. Okay, so now we have installed the X theme and we have also installed the child theme for the X. So what we want to do is to input the code here, the purchase code, which is our license. Once it's activated, then we can also use all the extensions that come with the X theme and some premium features like templating and so forth. So what we are going to do is to go to the theme forest account where we have the X theme. We'll click on the download where it says license certificate and purchase code. I will just save it here. And once it is saved here, I will click on it and get my purchase code right there. I will copy it and I will put that in my theme right here. Input code and hit enter. Input code here, put enter. And now it's gonna verify the license and now my um, theme is validated. So everything works here, great. Now you can see that all the extensions just became unlocked. So I can use content doc or advanced custom fields, a convert plug, which is a great model pop-up kind of thing. So we'll, we'll have a separate video and where we'll talk about these extensions and what they do. So in my next video, I will start from installing the sample content and we will install the sample content reset it then install some new content and build up our discussion from there so thanks so much for watching until next time thank you